Welcome to part two of copy and pasting regions in Logic. Um, originally, this was going to be the second and final part. Um, however, when I was putting this video together, it was spilling over quite a bit in terms of time. Um, so I'll effectively be splitting up part two over into an extra part three. If you would rather watch all three parts in one go, I'll do a combined video. So I've already covered the sort of basics, if you like, in part one. And in parts two and now part three, I'll be going into a little more detail. Um, so I'll just continue where I left off. Something else you can do when it comes to copy and pasting is using this tool here, repeat regions slash events multiple times. So if I just delete all of these and click on it, that brings up this little window um, and it prompts me to put in the number of copies that I want. So I'm going to put eight. And you can do as copies or aliases and clones. Um, if I do copies, that just instantly creates eight copies for me. So I don't have to paste in each one individually. Um, so yeah, that can be a quicker way for you to repeat regions if you're going to be doing lots of repeats. The other option, aliases or clones, um, I'm just going to delete all of these regions and I'll go back into that window. And I'll pick the other option. When I do that, um, I'm still given eight separate regions, um, but this is quite similar to the loops in a way, in that I can't edit these repeated regions. Um, the difference with loops, though, is that they are all individual, so I can move them around like this. Moving on, you can copy and paste lots of regions at a time. Um, I did it very quickly in part one with a couple of regions, but just to go over it. Um, so to do that, you can hold down shift and select the regions that you want to copy. Or you could drag your mouse over the regions that you want to copy. Just for the sake of showing what you can do, um, if I highlight all of these, Command C to copy, Put the playhead where I want to paste, then Command V to paste. I can duplicate the whole track if I want to. I'm going to bring up another logic project here, um, and I'm going to be in this project for the remainder of this video and all of the next one. And the next thing I'm going to go over is uh, this option here uh, when I right click which is paste at original position. Now, an occasion where you might use that would be if you were copy and pasting a region onto a different instrument track, but you wanted it to be in exactly the same place in the timeline as the original region. And I've done that already here previously. Um, so these two at the top are actually the same regions, and the one below is a copy of the one on top. And I did the same thing for these two parts down here as well, just below these. And I did some work with the panning on the left hand side there. Um, but anyway, the point is I did a copy and paste onto another track um, in exactly the same place. So if I just delete these copies and I'll copy and paste them again, but this time I'll go through what I'm doing. Now let's focus on this second region down here. Um, so I'll solo it. Um, now, if you were to go about copy and pasting this in the same way that I explained in part one, you'd have to copy, so Command C, and then you would need to find out exactly where you need to put the playhead to paste. And in this scenario, that kind of needs to be bang on. Um, so the pasted region needs to line up exactly with the original region. And if it doesn't line up exactly, um, that might lead to problems. So I want to be pasting in line with this first region. So I would need to go and find the start of this region. Um, so I'm going to try and find the exact start of the region. Um, and you'll see that it's not really slap bang at the start of the bar. And you'll see that it's not even in line with 1 16th of a bar. So you're kind of looking to see where the start of the region is and it's a bit fiddly.
it looks like I found it there, um, but you can see it did take a good few seconds. Um, and now I'm in a situation where I'm insanely zoomed into this. Um, and now I'm going to have to zoom out again, keeping the playhead where it is. I don't want to move it. Um, otherwise, I'll have to position it again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that onto this next track down here. And I think that has worked. Um, but there's an easier way of going about that. A much easier way. So what I'm going to do is just delete this region that I've just pasted. And I'm going to copy the original region again. And now regardless of where the playhead is, if I do paste at original position um, with this strip highlighted, it will paste just like that. And I know that's in the right place. I don't have to go checking. I guess you could do that manually, just like I did before, but you might be liable to make little mistakes when you try to do that manually. Um, but if you just paste at original position, you're all good. Um, and there shouldn't be any issues going on there in terms of the regions not being in sync with one another. Um, and that can affect timing and so forth. I'll just show you what can happen if these are slightly out of sync. And I don't know, you might actually like that sort of effect. Um, but for what I'm doing, they need to be completely in sync. And the way to ensure that perfect synchronization um, is to use the paste at original position option. Um, you might never end up needing to use it, um, but if you do find that you want to copy and paste a region onto a different instrument channel, but at the same original position, I would use that tool. Um, and just to finish off, I'll just paste this one back here. See, that's much quicker than manually finding where you might need to put the playhead to paste. Um, so moving on, originally in this video, I was going to go over copy and pasting this whole chorus section, uh, but that is now going to go over into part three.